Algebra lesson 3-8. <clears throat> All right, a, uh, one of the things that we'll do is we'll, we'll start to compare different uh, real-life quantities. Could be, uh, could be a distance, it could be uh, fish, it could be cats, it could be ice cream. You know, we could compare lots of things, and one of the ways we compare those is we use a rate. For example, a rate of A per B, the A and the B can be virtually anything, as my example over here has shown money and sodas. So A would be the money and B would be the sodas. One way you can write it is a fraction. That's one way of comparing the two quantities. So a rate is two quantities measured in different units. So we wouldn't want to say money to money, because that would be the same units. We could say fish to days, we could say dogs to cats. It doesn't matter as long as the units are different, whatever we're counting by. Here we're counting by dollars, and here we're counting by sodas. This is a rate which can be used over long periods of time. We would use that as an example, because that's pretty typical if you went to a grocery store. You could probably find you know, sodas for however many dollars, and they'd come in a six-pack or a 12 or 24. Now, if we want to take that a step further, then we have what we call a unit rate. This is still a comparison, just like a rate appears as a comparison of two quantities, but this time it's per one unit, so the bottom has to be one. It may have started out as something else. It may have started out as 240 miles, and the bottom may have been six gallons. And if that were the case, this would just be called a rate because it's two different units being compared. But to get it into a unit rate, you take whatever this bottom number is, and that's what you divide into both of them. So you divide the top by 6, you divide the bottom by 6. Now the 6 divided by 6 makes 1 gallon. And the top, 240 divided by 6, makes 40 miles. This is pretty similar to cars, although not many cars get 40 miles to the gallon. But you have a miles per gallon. That's giving you a rate, a unit rate actually miles per one. When you go to the gas station and you buy gas, you're buying the gas at $3.65 per one gallon. So you're getting a unit rate for how much it costs for each unit of increment that you buy. You may get done and spend $75, $80 on all the gas, but that $75 or $80 is going to be $75, $80 over 20 gallons or whatever it may be. And if they break it down to how much it costs per one gallon, then it would be a unit rate. So just remember, if you want to make something a unit rate, take whatever the bottom number is and divide it into both the top and bottom numbers. That will turn it into a unit rate. <clears throat> when we say per, the slash means to use division. So when we say miles per hour, that represents speed. Miles per hour is speed. But you remember, with speed, another word for speed was rate. Now, if you recall, we also had a formula for calculating speed. We said r is equal to d over t. Well, if the word per means division, this is telling you right here. Miles, that's a measurement of distance. Per means division right here. This is the per. And the hour is on the bottom. It's a unit of time. So rate, which is speed, is always equal to d over t. Distance divided by time. So every time you've said, oh, I'm going 50 miles per hour, you're actually stating what the formula is for finding the distance. I mean, the, uh, the rate, the distance divided by the time. And our last piece of information is the word percent. The word per would mean division. And you have cent, which is just a prefix for 100. If you think about it, there's 100 years in a century. It takes 100 years to make, a, uh, it takes 100 cents to make a dollar. So we have per 100, or in other words, divide by 100. If you have 85 percent, what you're really saying is 85 divided by 100. And if you took 85 and divided it by 100, you would take the decimal on 85 and you would move it 
two places to the left, and you'd get 0.85. You might recall when we talked about simple interest formula, we said any percentage, if you want to convert it into a decimal, it's two places to the left. This is the reason why, because it's a per 100, meaning divide by 100. You could also write it 85 over 100. Because if you remember this line means per means division, per 100. 85 over 100. So 85% divided by 100 really means decimal move twice to the left, you've got 0.85. Or if you want, you can simplify 85% and you can break this fraction down. You know that 5 goes into both of these. 5 goes into 120 times and 5 goes into 85 17 times. So this could break down to the fraction 17 twentieths. That would mean exactly 85%. So rates, rates are a comparison of two quantities with different measurements, different units. Could be dollars to sodas, it could be dollars to cats, it could be fish to giraffes, it could be houses to people. Doesn't matter as long as it's different units. The unit rate takes a regular rate like in this case, 240 miles to 6 gallons, and divides by whatever your denominator is to create a unit rate where the bottom number is a 1. That's why it's a unit rate per 1. The per means division, and percent would mean divide by 100. So you can convert all percentage points into decimals if you simply divide by 100.